Hey everybody, going to run down a few of the options and give you some tips and tricks today for setting up your Pi Dash system when you're connected to your one gauge. So this is going to be focused on the screen design and layout. Um, it assumes that you've already got everything plugged up and working and you've got the system booted up. So when the screen boots up, it's going to default to this um, full screen view. Now what I've done is I've um, I've plugged in a mouse and a keyboard to this unit so that I can go in and make changes to settings more easily. That's not something you have to have all the time, but it definitely makes it quicker to do um, on-screen gauge layout adjustments. So if you double click on the screen, it's going to take you into and out of full screen mode, which is uh, very important. So in full screen mode, you're going to see exactly what the gauge layout looks like. Now when you leave full screen mode, um, the layout isn't going to be perfect. So if I show you one of these other um, examples, you can see that when I leave full screen mode, the needles and things get kind of messed up and the layout isn't quite right because the screen ratio changes. So if you're moving anything around, you definitely want to be in full screen mode so you see where you're actually putting things correctly. Now, um, along here on the bottom, when I'm out of full, full screen mode, you can see I can toggle between different designs. Um, the name of each design is on the tab, so you can move between them. Sometimes the background doesn't like to load until you go full screen, so um, you might want to do that too. Um, so you can kind of scroll through some of the different designs that are available on the screen. Now if um, we do have a, a default layout, it's not this one, but um, we have a default layout that comes with the screens, but if you want to change the, the default layout that you use when the system boots up, what you're going to want to do is go to your main dashboard, it's that first tab on the bottom left, and right click and click on load save and you want to load the dashboard that you want. So say let's let's pick out the Ferrari dashboard today, that's the one that we're going to set as our uh, main design. So we're going to right click, go to load dashboard, and in the file path here you're going to click on other and there's three dots here on the right, click there and what it's going to do is it's going to default to this view. So this is your this is basically the entire computer view and you want to go to your Tuner Studio Projects folder and then one gauge and then dashboard and that's where all the different dashboard files are saved. So we're going to open Ferrari here and then it's going to look goofed up, that's fine. Um, apply it and then hit accept. And now we've got our Ferrari um, layout that's going to be our base layout. So there's a lot of different customization that you can do on the screen. Um, I recommend, recommend doing this part out of the full screen mode. So right click and then you can click on designer mode and it's basically going to, it'll you'll kind of get this gridded layout so that you can see um, where things are located and then you can click on each of the different readings, the bars, the numbers, things like that and you can move things around as needed. So you can click and drag to be able to move things. Um, you can see there's this little red kind of square on the bottom corner of a gauge and that lets you resize. So if you drag larger and smaller you can resize. Okay, so I'm going to exit full view again. Um, you can um, you can move things up and down in the layer order, so you can bring things to the front and move things back. Um, usually what I do for that though is I just copy and paste or cut and paste, and that will paste things on the top layer. So um, that's kind of resizing and moving gauges, so you can do that the same thing with your needles, um, really just about anything, the labels, um, and all of that. So some of these things, like the, the gauge numbers on this design are actually loaded as part of the background of the screen and you're not going to be able to edit them. But if you go to a different layout, one like this, um, that's designed using the um, just the kind of native functionality in Tuner Studio, you can change a lot of those types of things. So if we load up, for example, just the default layout that I had when I started. You can see a lot of these I, I can edit um, pretty much everything about the way this gauge looks. So as an example let's right click on the speedometer. We've, we're in designer mode and so if we go to dashboard designer 
probably the most the thing you're going to be using most often is this properties dialog. So in properties dialog, you can choose a number of different settings like the font on the gauge, how big the font is, um, the labels of the gauge. So where it says speed and miles per hour, you can change those. And then you can change your um, low critical, low warning, high warning, and high critical. And that's um, those are basically your thresholds for your for your uh, warning lights. So the gauge will turn yellow when it goes above the high warning. It'll turn red when it goes above high critical. Same for low critical and low warning. Now, if you just want those to be off, basically you set low at zero or below whatever value you expect to see. So if it's a boost gauge and you see up to negative 30, then you might set it at negative 50. Um, and then high warning you would set above whatever you expect to see if you just want to turn that functionality off. Um, so for example, this air fuel ratio, that's a lot of red on there. So let's right click on that, go to dashboard designer, and then the properties dialog. Um, and what you could do is you could set low critical to maybe like eight and low warning to 10. And that way you get rid of a little, a little bit of that red. Um, so it's not, not so filled up. You could also change, um, if you go back to that properties dialog, <coughs> you could exchange, you could change the minimum and maximum value that's shown on the gauge to kind of resize the way that that gauge face looks. And that would work on any of these gauges, same principles. If you wanted to change the source of the gauge, so instead of having this be a speed gauge, you want it to be, let's say, a fuel pressure gauge. Um, your, your gauge categories are all right here. You've got tuner studio gauges, which you're not really going to use, engine other, so things like voltage, gear, um, fuel for fuel level, fuel pressure, sorry, not fuel pressure, fuel level, air fuel ratio, indicators. And these are things like um, your 12 volt indicators into the system, like uh, a fan coming on, um, a pressure warning, warning lights, things like that. You got your pressure sensors, fuel pressure, oil pressure, engine map, um, tire pressure, um, speed and location. So odometer, altitude, speed, and then various temperatures, your EGTs, your additional temperatures, coolant temp, all those types of things. So you could change, if we wanted to change this to a fuel pressure sensor, just right click on it and go to fuel pressure. And now this is gonna give me my fuel pressure readout. Okay, um, this color dialog right here, right under your uh, properties dialog is also one you might use often. So you could change the face color. Um, you select it and then hit apply and it will change the face. There's your critical and warning colors, the color of the font. So if I want the font to be white instead of black, um, you could change all those types of things. Border color. So you can kind of customize the way some of these native gauges look. Um, you can also make things transparent if needed. So that lets you change a lot of the colors. And then um, some of your other functionality. That's going to cover 99% of what you do. Here's your bring forward and send to back. If you want to adjust the layering, um, right click and it's on next to order. You can change your gauge style. If you want to just add a new gauge, you can do that. And then you have this whole menu of different styles of gauges that you can choose from. Um, and then you can, of course, customize those as needed. And then right click. If you want to see a, gim a demo of the gauges, then you can do that start stop demo and then go to full screen. <coughs> <coughs> and it should, let's, see, let's do start gauge demo, there we go. So let's just kind of kind of cycle through some of the demos and show you what some of it looks like. This doesn't work as well when the one gauge is actually hooked up, so you might want to unplug the USB connection there. So you can leave designer mode and then basically you've got your dash configured how you need to. So I hope hope that's helpful. Uh, feel free to reach out and ask questions for, um, to us. It's info at the one gauge .com or the one gauge at gmail.com. Feel free to email us or just comment below and, and we're happy to answer. Thanks.